Hi, I'm George Miller from the Buffalo Bill Center of the West in Cody, Wyoming. And today we're going to talk about the Beartooth Mountains in the Northwest Bighorn Basin. The Beartooth are a little different than the last few mountain ranges we've looked at because they're far older for the most part. The rocks in the Beartooth are as old as 2.7 billion years old. Well, here's the namesake of the Beartooth, a mama grizzly with her three cubs, and she's off. And this formation is sometimes called the Beartooth. Well, it's a huge uplift, the Beartooth, part of the Laramide orogeny that we've talked about before, that mountain building phase of the Rocky Mountains. And there's our old friend, the Chugwater Formation at the base. But you can imagine this plug of volcanic, ancient volcanic rock being thrust into the air, pushing up that younger Triassic um, Chugwater and these limestones. So these limestones were actually tilted vertically when the um, Laramide orogeny pushed these mountains up into the air. These beautiful palisades of limestone. High on top of the mountains, you can see the work of the glaciers. Now, glacial activity has scooped out these little potholes, and they've filled in with lakes. So the, the Beartooth are dotted with lakes. And you can see up here at the top, a lot of lichen on those rocks, and where there's been enough uh, accumulation of soil, little plants are growing, a few little um, spring flowers there. Now, these rocks have never been rolled in a stream. You can tell that because they're angular, they're not rounded. And you can see those little grasses have found enough dirt to grow between these rocks frozen and cold most of the year. Some of the rocks are as big as a car, like this one. Well, here are mountain goats that we saw at the top of the Beartooth. And these are a relatively new species to the area. Um, they've only been here maybe 20 to 30 years. Um, they're not native to this area, but they're very interesting to look at. Well, we can see huge cliffs of granite, and most of the rock is granitic. That's a metamorphic rock, so it's been buried and uplifted a number of times. But here at Beartooth Butte and the uh, closely associated Clay Butte, the glaciers didn't overtop these buttes, and we have Devonian uh, material from about... Uh, 410 to 360 years, million years ago, um, they're on top. Well, there's one part of erosion that I haven't really talked about much in our um, sessions, and this one is freezing and thawing. So you can see in that crack, crack there's a bunch of snow that's going to freeze and thaw, freeze and thaw, loosening the rock, and there's a big piece of cliff that's calved off and eventually that will fall to the val valley floor below. We've spoken about water and its erosive effects. So lots of silt being carried away. And in these little tiny streams coming out in the springtime, you can see how much debris has been brought down, how much vegetation debris has been brought down, but also boulders are rolled about in these little streams in the spring. The other thing I haven't talked about is wind. And wind in Wyoming and Montana is very strong and an erosive force as well. So there's erosion going on just at a slower rate with wind. Well, I leave you with the full moon setting over the Beartooth. I hope you've enjoyed our time together. If you're enjoying these sessions, please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel of the Buffalo Bill Center of the West.